Hi there, my name is Alana and you can say I have a little bit of an obsession with Charlotte Tilbury. Today we'll be creating this beautiful makeup look as a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup products. I'm going to leave a link down below my playlist which has approximately 60 videos all about Charlotte Tilbury makeup. So if you are a fan of Charlotte Tilbury after you watch this video, definitely check out that playlist. Today's full face of Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit of a mix. We have a mix of some newer products in her range but we also have some products that I think are underrated. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Over the last couple of months, I've really stopped using face primer and no matter really what makeup look I'm doing or what brand of product, I've been prepping my skin with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I just find it so hydrating and nourishing and it sits so beautifully under makeup and I just love that it is a skin, I mean it's a skincare product, I was going to say it's a skincare product first, but I love that it's a skincare product so it's nourishing my skin, but also, you know, made by a makeup artist so I know that this is just going to help my makeup just sit really beautifully. Talking about magic cream, honestly I find when I put it on my face, I already feel like my face looks better. What an absolutely shocking turn of events for Charlotte Tilbury makeup video, I'm going to go in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. I wear it in the shade one. I do also have a travel size of shade two. So you can definitely flex this product across different shades, but I really just like to put it almost as a highlighting base. I know you can kind of put this all over your face and honestly by the time we're done rubbing it in, it basically is, but I really just like putting it sort of anywhere, give or take that I would put highlighter, I mean, you know. You don't have to be too perfect, that's the nice thing about this product, but I really like to kind of focus it on this part of my face. I just find it helps that glow just kind of beam through without being too much. <laughs> I recently received this lovely PR box from Charlotte Tilbury. It doesn't have all of those in it. I've already taken the products out, but it had her beautiful skin foundation and two concealers. I've already posted a video with my review of the concealers, but I'm gonna leave it linked down below. And the concealer that I purchased myself was in shade two. Charlotte sent me the concealers in shades three and 3.5. And I definitely found that shade two was too light on me. So I'm using shade 3.5 right now. Definitely check out that video if you're curious for a little more in depth on the products. But I did really feel like shade two was too light on me. Now they are sort of described as shapewear for your face. And it definitely gave me that lifted look. But it's just not something that I would typically reach for. I wear my concealers to be a little bit more true to my skin tone and a little bit more just kind of focused on covering up imperfections, like dark circles, things like that. So when I tested in store, I thought maybe shade four would be right for me, which is crazy because I have very fair skin. But 3.5 seems to be working out, I'd say pretty, pretty perfectly when it comes to a skin match. Typically in, uh, in Charlotte's foundations, I'm a shade two, especially a two neutral if they have that. So I was expecting that two would work for me. So if you're looking for a true match, I would definitely go a little bit darker than your typical foundation shade. And for my foundation, I'm going to be wearing Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. Typically the shade I wear is too neutral, but in the package Charlotte sent me, I was sent too warm. So we're gonna be trying out too warm today. I did do a little bit of a swatch and it seems like it's going to be okay, but I haven't put it on my skin yet. Also, while too neutral definitely has uh, continued to work for me into the summer, if there's ever a time that too warm is going to work, it's kind of this, I mean, preferably middle of summer, but it's definitely this time of year when I still have a bit of a tan going on. So let's just bounce this into my skin. With the Beautiful Skin Foundation, I definitely prefer using it with a beauty sponge. I've tried brushes, I've tried, you know, hands, I've tried everything. Um, and I will leave my review of the Beautiful Skin Foundation linked down below. But obviously that's you know a little bit more, when I say review, it's a little bit more of a first impressions. And having had the opportunity to use this foundation for months now, I would say that I'm in love with it. It's one of my favorite foundations. I love it because it has a kind of nice medium buildable coverage, but it has a real glow built into it. And I think, I think too warm is actually working out pretty, pretty well for me. Yeah, I think too warm is actually working out pretty well. I would say that I do slightly prefer too neutral on me, but I think that too warm looks really, really nice on me as well. So I think it's an overall pretty, pretty flexible match. So I'm gonna go with another layer of Flawless Filter. 
and this time I'm only placing it on my cheekbones. This is almost, almost going to be a highlighting base once again. So we're just going to tap that around and just bounce it into the skin. Now the beautiful skin bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, I wear it in the shade One Fair. First of all, I'll say the best way to apply it is with the brush that she launched in that collection. I also review this product, so I will leave that link down below. Again, I've tried everything from like directly applying it with a sponge, putting it on my hands, and the best way to apply it is to just literally like bounce it once or twice very gently in, build it up, and then just go in for more. I wear this bronzer as almost a bronze tour, so I'm not going to be going in with contour, stick, or wands. I really like this just kind of warming up my face, but still providing a little bit of structure. I think it's a really pretty kind of soft cream bronzer that honestly when I use the brush I can almost I feel like I'm almost using it as a powder. Now I think sometimes that like, going in for a heavy contour can look a little bit much in our day-to-day -day lives and there's just a little bit of bronze to that just to me it just feels like a little bit more approachable a touch more casual but still I think gives us that beautiful kind of structured glowing look. I mean just like look at that you know it's not not intense it's not too much but we can already see some of those cheekbones coming through. So I really want this look to be cream for it. So I'm going with my Pink Gasm Blush, which is always sold out. And I will say with this product, a little goes a long way. So I'm starting with just two little dots. And again, I am using my Real Technique sponge to just tap it in. We can always, we can always add more, you know? We can always, always add more. Just a dab more and then we're gonna stop, we're gonna stop. I sometimes feel like with this product, I just can keep on adding and adding and adding, but there is a point that's too much and let's, let's not get to that point. Now I know what you're thinking, you're looking at this look and you're just saying, Alana, you're not glowing. Don't you worry. Next I have Spotlight, which is one of her highlighter wands. And I'm gonna focus it again, just on that kind of upper part of our cheekbone. Now for this part, I'm gonna use the kind of the skinny end, the pointy end of our beauty sponge so that I'm not bringing pink all the way up here. I know it's a look, it's just not a look for me. I'm just gonna kind of gently bring that glow. And then just using whatever is left over on the sponge, I'm just going to kind of bounce it along that part of my nose. Okay, loving it, loving it. Okay, we're gonna take a little detour away from cream, go with the powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish in shade one. And we want to still keep that glow going, but we also want to set in our makeup. So I'm just going to put this mostly just under my eye. I like a little bit of coverage it brings, and then I'm just going to focus on my nose and in just my forehead, kind of just my T-zone. But we're not, we're not taking it too far. This is all we're doing for powder. Product's not from Charlotte Tilbury, but this is just the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, and I use this as my eyeshadow base every single day. I've tried so many different eye bases and nothing truly compares. Now, while we give that a minute to settle and dry into the skin, I don't really like um, using a powder eyeshadow or a wet cream product. Just gonna go in with her brow lift and just gently fill in a little bit of my brows. I'm not going too hard on the brows today because I did just have them done recently, so they're still in pretty good shape. And now I'm going in with her Legendary Brows, which is a tinted brow gel. One of my, actually one of, no, it's like my favorite Charlotte Tilbury brow product. I love how skinny the wand is. I find I'm really able to get precision. I find the color taupe is a great match for me. And I find it just lasts all day, but it never looks too intense. Okay, our eyeshadow base should be done. So today we're gonna to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. This is one of her 12 pan palettes. And if you're not familiar with Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow formula, one, I'm gonna leave a video link down below where I rank all of my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes and quads. But what you need to know is that the formula is available in this longer rectangular pan shape. It's available in her 12 pan and six pan palettes. It's different from her quad formula. And while I do like her quads, if you're someone who likes buttery, creamy, easy to blend, more pigmented eyeshadow, and the formula that you find in the six and 12 pan palettes is just so much better. So we're gonna go in with the day look, which I think is really pretty. Start off with my Sonia G Worker 3 brush, and I'm just going in with this very light shade here. I wanna say it's Urban Decay Sin, but it's not because it's Charlotte Tilbury. And it's just a really pretty, sort of almost like a soft pink ivory pearlescent. And it just has this little bit of pink shift to it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna bring it up under the brow. We're gonna use this everywhere. 
Now, while this palette does have three looks, they've got Day, Desk, Date, and Dream. I think that's really great if you are newer to eyeshadow and you're just kind of, you're looking for some guidance. You know, you're thinking, what shadows go together? Okay, these ones have been chosen, they work together, wonderful. But I will say really anything in the palette, you can mix and match with each other. But I do think it is really helpful to sort of have some predetermined looks within the palette if that's something that you, you know, are kind of newer to eyeshadow and, and need. So I'm gonna go with the matte pink that's from the day look. And we're going to use this to kind of bring a little shape to our eye. Back to my Worker 3 brush, I'm just gonna go in with this middle sort of rosy pink shimmer and just apply that on my lids. Now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm just blending everything in together so we have a really soft and blown up look. So for my eyeliner today, I'm going with Tom Ford's Eye Defining Pen and I consider Tom Ford a sister brand to Charlotte Tilbury. Now, you may not know this, but Charlotte Tilbury actually co-created the Tom Ford makeup line with Tom Ford. So, look, she knocked it out of the park with this eyeliner. The eyeliner pen that's in her core collection, I'm not really a big fan of, so I'm cheating a little bit, but Charlotte did create this. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's The Classic Eye Powder Pencil to do my tight line. Now, this would not be a Charlotte Tilbury makeup look without her iconic Pillow Talk lip liner. So for my lips today, I'm going with Pillow Talk, but this is in her Superstar Lip Formula. This is a, I would describe it as almost a very pigmented lip balm or a very light glossy lipstick. It almost has the effect of a lipstick with a lip gloss on top, but it's just in one product. And we're gonna finish it off with our Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And here we have the completed look. I'm so happy with how it came together. And honestly, this look has just reminded myself to use this beautiful Pillow Talk palette more. I mean, I think the eyes in particular are just beautiful, glowing, a bit of dimension, a little bit of pink. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are a fan of Charlotte Tilbury, then definitely subscribe. Link down below, I have my Charlotte Tilbury playlist, which has, I want to say now, over 60 videos dedicated to Charlotte Tilbury, which is absolutely wild to me. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.